Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to my caregiving journal. This video, I will demonstrate how to assess vital signs of an infant. Assessing vital signs of an infant, you start with the most non-invasive vital sign first. While the infant is calm and resting. Therefore, we're going to check the respiration, the heart rate, temperature, weight, length, head circumference, and the chest circumference. Before we begin, make sure you gather all your supplies. So what you are going to need is it's an infant-sized stethoscope, measuring tape, temperature, scale, and a watch. Make sure you sanitize everything that you will use before and after. And of course, wash your hands. Now, let's start. First, we're going to check the respirator. We're going to do that first while the infant is lying here nice and calm. So we get an accurate reading. And the normal respiratory rate of an infant is about 30 to 60 beats per minute. You already take off all the clothes of the baby. Before we count the respiratory, we want to look at the baby. We want to make sure that there's no any respiratory distress. So one way we can tell that is we look at the nose. Infant love to breathe through their nose. So we were checking their nose drills. We're looking for the nasal flaring. If you see that, it's not a good sign. And we look at the chest. If there's any like chest retraction. It literally looks like the skin has just been full over the ribs. And you can see the ribs very well. And this infant does not have either of these things. To count the respiration, what we're going to do is we're going to count one full minute the rise and fall of the chest. Infant breathing pattern is irregular. Infant like to breathe abdominally so if you're having trouble just lightly place your hand in the chest and feel the rise and fall but be careful not to disturb the infant and get them crying. Let's do it so we will try to count the respiration of the baby. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You count the rise and fall for one minute, so the infant respiration is 38, which means it's normal because the normal rate is 30 to 60 breaths per minute. Now, we're going to get the heart rate of the infant. So, we're gonna use an infant size st stethoscope. An infant who is less than a month, a normal heart rate is about 100 to 190 beat per minute. This can vary in the infant if it's crying or sleeping. If the infant is over one month, the heart rate goes down a little bit, but a normal rate is about 90 to 80 beat per minute. To count the heart rate, we are going to do is use the apical pulse, not going to use the radial pulse. Apical pulse located here in this area. Here's the apical pulse. We're going to place the stethoscope here. We're going to listen for one full minute. Our infant heart rate is 142 which is normal because the normal rate is 100 to 190 beat per minute. To check the temperature in the infant, we're going to check via auxiliary road. We're going to place a thermometer in the infant armpit so we're going to use digital thermometer. A normal temperature of an infant is very anywhere between 97.5 to 99.3 degree Fahrenheit. To take the temperature, make sure to turn on the temperature. Place the temperature deep inside the armpit and then put the arm down and wait the temperature to dip. So we're going to put here. Wait the temperature to beep to get the reading. When it's beep, it's done. The reading is 99.1 degree Fahrenheit. The baby have normal temperature. So we will document it. To obtain the infant weight, we remove the infant protein and swallow diaper. But a dry diaper can be used. And now we will wait the baby. And then let's assume that this is the weight, weight scale of the baby. Place the infant in the scale and obtain the weight. The infant weight is 10 pounds and 2 ounces. So we will 
full document. To measure the length, lay the end pant on the surface that you can mark. You need a marker or any pen. We find it difficult because the baby is moving. Ask for help. We're going to measure from head to heel. Then just mark, mark here in the head. Then to take the leg, extend outward like this. A normal length of an infant is about 18 to 22 inches. After marking, gently lift the baby up. And then, we will measure the line using an inches here. So this is the one that we are marked, that we mark from head to heel. So let's assume that the infant, let's assume the result of the length, the infant is 22 inches from head to heel. To measure head circumference, we're going to need a measuring tape. Measuring in centimeters, a normal head circumference in an infant is about 33 to 38 centimeters. We're going to place the tape measure around the largest diameter of the head. To do that, we're going to place a little bit above the eyebrows. Then we're going to wrap that around and place it around the most prominent part of the head. So gently lift the head and put the measuring tape behind. Pull the measuring tape around his head. The head circumference of the infant is is about 33 centimeters. Now forget the chest circumference of the of the infant. So again, get your measuring tape. We will measuring this in centimeter. You're going to take it and use the nipple line. So nipple line as your guide. Wrap it up around. Gently lift the baby. So wrap it around and then his chest circumference is 32 centimeters. The chest circumference of the normal baby and the true baby is around 36 centimeters. Now we are done. Thank you so much for watching my return demo on how to get the vital signs of an infant.